In this lesson, we'll practice naming carboxylic acids. Question one reads, give the IUPAC and common name for the following carboxylic acid. What makes a compound a carboxylic acid is if you have the functional group carbon, double bonded to oxygen, and that is subsequently bonded to OH, where this represents the rest of the molecule. And as you can see in this structure, we have the same. We have carbon, double bonded to oxygen, and this hydroxyl. Now when it comes to naming these, you want to locate the longest carbon chain that consists of this functional group. So the longest chain is one, two, three, four. Normally we call that butane if it were an alkane, except we know that it's a carboxylic acid. So we drop this E and we replace it with OIC. So we have butanoic acid. That's the IUPAC name. The common name for this structure without this methyl group is butyric acid. So I'm just going to write that down for reference sake. Okay, now we have to consider that we have a methyl and you want to start labeling your carbons from where the carboxylic acid begins. So we have one, two, three, and this is your fourth carbon. Methyl is at the second carbon, so we can say two, methyl butanoic acid that's the IUPAC name but for the common name the Greek letter alpha specifies the carbon atom next to the carboxylic carbon so this would be alpha that's beta and this one would be gamma since the methyl exists at the second carbon we would say alpha methyl butanoic acid. That answers question one. In question two, we have give the IU packing common name for the following. As you can see, we have a benzene ring and we have two substituents, this carboxylic acid and this chlorine atom. Normally, we would call this benzene ring simply benzene. And this time we drop the E and we write down benzenoic acid. So benzenoic acid, and given that we have this chlorine atom, we would say one, two, three, three chlorobenzenoic acid, where these two are connected. That's the IUPAC name. The common name introduces the letters M, P, and O for meta, para, and ortho. So when you have a substituent two carbons away, so in our case here, we have one carbon and then another carbon from this one. So at C3, we call it meta or M. M, chloro, and the rest stays the same, benzenoic acid. On the contrary, if it was at C2, you would say ortho, so you'd write down O. And if it was at C4, then it's para. And there you have it, a quick tutorial on naming carboxylic acids.